Hey guys, today I want to ask you what can be considered as pillars of software engineering? Well, probably you would say understanding of requirements, system design and architecture, the actual implementation and other ones. I've already started implementing features for my previous main service and as a responsible developer I need to deliver quality code only. But how can I be sure that my code is good enough? Right, by writing unit and integration tests. I will show you some best practices for both of them. Let's start with unit testing. Essentially, there are three main concepts. Test method naming, test method structure, and what actually should be tested. Speaking of method naming, there are a bunch of conventions, and honestly, it's not so important which one you will choose. More importantly, to choose one and stick to it. I personally adopted a naming convention at my current work, and I found it pretty easy to read and understand. First should go when and the name of the method you are currently testing. The second part is the condition and the last one is the outcome. For instance, when I get user access token and the state is blank, then the method throws a legal argument exception. Or when I refresh user access token and there are no unexpected conditions, then the method returns Spotify credentials. As for the structure, a test method should be broken down into three main steps. Given, when, then. Given is a setup for a test case, when is an actual invocation of a testy method, and then is a verification of expected behavior. And the most important thing to know is basically what we need to test. So the main purpose of unit testing is to test in isolation, which means that we need to focus on a single class or component and mark any external dependency. Here is an example. Get user access token method accepts two arguments, code and state. I need to generate these values. There are also two method calls of radius operations, properties call and thing client call. These four method invocations must be marked. And for that I use Makita library, which has a quite nice and thin syntax. After finishing with the method setup, we need to execute the actual method and verify that all marked components were invoked and the outcome of the method is just the same as the expected one. Ok, that's all for unit testing and now let's talk about integration ones. And before I explain the main idea, and even before I started to write those tests, I needed a proper exception handling, so my backend can return an appropriate HTTP error code, depending on the exception type. Because by default, for almost all exceptions, it would return 500 internal server error. I would say a generic error doesn't sound very user-friendly and helpful. So I implemented a global REST controller advice, which will look if the HTTP started mapping contains an exception and resolve the error response body and HTTP status based on the map error code and exception message. Ok, let's get back to integration tests. The method naming and the structure is just the same as in the case of unit tests, but the main difference is the testing scope. Here we run the application as it would be on the server, I mean with all database connections and other dependencies, and after that we run our tests. The main goal is to test all components all together. And of course no one uses real instances of databases or Kafka or whatever, that's where test containers come in. I use Platica ones, which are very easy to configure, their libraries are basically auto configurations for Spring Boot. For now the only database that should be launched is Redis, and this one is already covered with a test docker container. 
Also, my backend makes REST calls to fetch the access token from Spotify. And since I also can call the real APIs, I will mark responses with the wiremark library. Then I make an HTTP request to the one of the services endpoints and verify the state of the system, databases and HTTP status code and body. And that's it. Now you know how to make your code better and safer. I can't even count how many times I improved my code after writing units and integration tests. They're extremely helpful for identification of bugs before the feature even deployed on the server. And honestly, a long time ago, I thought this is a complete waste of time and I can deliver even more features instead of writing some stupid tests. Indeed, it's a quite consuming thing. However, in a long-term perspective, your team would only benefit from having a good test coverage of the software codebase. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.